welcome to your practice for composure. Today we'll use the breath to remain calm in our postures, be patient with where we are in the moment and meet ourselves with compassion to maintain composure. If you're new to the channel, my name is Bea Sherlock and I'll be your teacher for today's practice. Life can present us with many a challenge and it's understandable that we can become overwhelmed. In this overwhelm, we can struggle with feeling calm and in control in any given moment. In this practice, we'll focus on meeting ourselves with patience and compassion and recognize that through our practice, we learn valuable lessons and tools about ourselves. We learn that we can take these lessons and tools from the mat to meet ourselves in the challenging scenarios we may face off the mat. Join me as we breathe, find our composure in our postures and meet ourselves with the same patience we show to others. Let's meet on the mat. Let's begin by connecting the breath and the body. Take deep inhale, find the length through the spine, lift up through the crown. And as you exhale, find release. To redefine that connection, you can draw your hand, one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. Take a deep inhale into the base of the spine. Witness as the breath travels along the spine into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine, slight pelvic contraction. As you breathe, let go of the pressures of the world and go inward as you connect the mind, body and the breath. Release the breath now. Simply observe the natural rhythm of the breath's inflow and outflow. Come over now to all fours. Finding a neutral tabletop, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the chest, coming into cow. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tail, chin to chest, cat pose. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the chest, coming into cow. Exhale, arch the spine, lower the tail, coming into cat. Two more times here, inhale, exhale, arch the spine, inhale, lower the belly, exhale, arch the spine, inhale, coming back to neutral, tuck the toe, lift the tail to the sky, coming into Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, drawing the heels toward the mat. Micro bend in the knees, lift the tail up and back, draw the sternum toward the thighs, internally rotate the elbows to find the broadening through the shoulders and the gaze can be towards the navel. Just finding that length through the spine from the tail through to the crown, elongating through the neck. Inhale, breath blossoms from the base of the spine. Exhale. Navel draws to spine, slight pelvic contraction. Good. Shift your stance a little bit. Perhaps you need to move your hands a little bit forward. Wave the body forward, come into plank. Exhale, draw the tail to the sky, coming back to downward dog. 
Inhale, wave the body forward. Whole body activation. Exhale, tail to sky, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, whole body activation. Hold it here, take an inhale. Exhale. One more inhale, good. Exhale, raise the tail to the sky. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, gazes to the top of the mat. Gently step the feet to the top of the mat. Folding forward, Uttanasana. Allow the head and neck to hang. Inhale, breath blossoms from the base of the spine into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Inhale, now sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Good. Inhale, lower the hands, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Thumbs point back, tail draws toward the earth, knit the ribs, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, folding forward, navel to thighs, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, find a flat back, long spine from tail to crown. Exhale, with control, we're going to step the left, sorry, right leg back, coming into lunge. Sole of the rear foot is perpendicular with the floor. Engage the back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Frame the face, rising into crescent. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step back, plank. Take an inhale. Exhale, whole body activation. Elbows to the body. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, pushing through the palms. Rising up into Adha Mukha Svanasana. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, tail to the sky, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. <sighs> Sigh it out. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest, step the foot between the hands, coming into lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, frame the face, rising into crescent. Exhale, rotate the back foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Sweep the right arm to the future, left arm to the past, gazes over the right hand. Inhale, extend the front leg, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, lower the arms to shoulder height. Take an inhale. Exhale, hinge at the front hip crease, leaning forward, reaching forward. Exhale, lower the hand to the shin, a block or the floor if that's in your practice. Stacking the shoulders, pushing through the back foot, inviting the hip to open. Shoulders remain stacked. Imagine your whole back body is aligned with a wall. In this Trikonasana, we find stabilization in the spine, sending feedback to the brain, enhancing our mind body connection. Good. Inhale now, lift the torso, rising up. Rotate the torso to the front of the mat, sweep the arms overhead. Short step the back foot to the middle of the mat. Inhale, reach up through the crown, finding length in the spine. And as we exhale, gently push off the back foot, shift the weight to the front knee, lower the torso, lift the back leg, Virabhadrasana three. Option here to keep the arms out front. Bring them by your sides, or you can put them in heart position. Whatever works for you. Find your drishti, so find a focal point in front of you. Here's where we find our balance, meet ourselves with compassion. Use the breath to find your composure. And if you fall, that's okay. Just try again. One more breath. 
Good, lift the torso, lower the left foot to the mat. Sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Take an inhale, allow the head and neck to hang. Breathe. Regain composure. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Inhale, lower the hands, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shin, find a flat back, Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, with control, step the left foot back, coming into lunge. Sole of the rear foot's perpendicular heel to the floor. Engage the back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Frame the face. Rise into crescent. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step back into plank. Take an inhale. Whole body activation. Lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale, push through the palms. Lift up through the chest. Thighs away from the mat. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Sweep the tail to the sky. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath. Sigh it out. Inhale, sweep the left leg to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee to chest. Step the foot between the hands, coming back into lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Frame the face, rising into crescent. Exhale, rotate the back foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Left arm to the future, right arm to the past. Gaze is over the front fingers. Inhale, extend the front leg, raise the hands above the head. Exhale, arms to shoulder height. Inhale, hinge at the front hip crease. Reach forward. Exhale, lower the front hand to the calf, the block or the floor, whichever is easiest for you. Pushing through the back heel, inviting the hip to open, stacking the shoulders, finding the length through the side body. In Trikonasa, we strengthen the muscles and the bones, and we ground down into the earth, finding stabilization and grounding. Breath blossoms from the base of the spine along the side body into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Slight pelvic contraction. Good. Inhale, lift the torso. Sweep the arms overhead. Rotate the torso to the front of the mat. Take a short step forward with the back foot. Reaching up through the crown, lift the hands to the sky. Now, here's where we find our focus. Gently pushing off the back foot, shifting our weight to the front leg, micro bend in the knee, whole body activation as we lower the torso, lift the back leg, Virabhadrasana too. Arms can be facing forward, they can be by your side, or they can be at heart center. Finding your drishti, that focus point, just in front of the mat. Using our breath to find the pose. Feel a long line from the heel to the crown. Finding our balance in Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Pay attention to how you treat yourself. You want to feel lightness and exhilaration through mind and body. If you fall, that's okay. Try again. One more breath. Good, lift the torso, release the right foot to the mat, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, allow the head and neck to hang. Take a deep inhale here, as the breath blossoms from the base of the spine, into the collarbone. Exhale, draws the navel to spine, releasing, calming. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. 
Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, plant the hands, step the feet back, coming into downward facing dog. Take an exhale. Inhale, sweep the right foot to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right wrist. Release the shin to the mat, lower down, untuck the back toes. Back leg is in the middle of the mat. Inhale, lifting up through the spine, finding length. If you need to here, you can use a block to prop it under your right hip to help square them off and align them. Take an exhale, navel draws to spine, finding that length on the inhale. And as we exhale now, we'll gently walk the hands forward, coming into pigeon. Ekapada Raja Kapitanasana. We have a natural tendency to store stress and anxiety and emotions in our hips. Pigeon allows us to invite surrender and release those emotions and experiences. Take a moment here to go inward. Breathe into the posture. Find calm and steadiness. Inhale now, gently walk the hands back to the hips. Lift up through the spine, push through the palms, tuck the back toe, sweep the right leg to the sky. Exhale, draw the foot back to the mat. Inhale, moving into the left side, sweep the left leg to the sky. Exhale, draw the left knee to the right wrist, lower the shin to the mat. Extend the back leg through the middle of the mat. Take an inhale as you find length through the spine, squaring off the hips. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Remembering if we need a block here to prop up the left hip, you can do that here. Inhale, breath blossoms from the base of the spine. Exhale, gently walk the hands forward, coming in two. Pigeon. Find a release through the hips. Meet yourself with compassion. Find surrender. Perhaps you find it within you to calm the breath. Allow the emotions to release from the hips. Inhale, now gently walk the hands back to the torso. Find length through the spine. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Good. Lean into the left hip, sweep the right leg around. Draw the right foot, so ground the right foot on the outside of the left knee. You can Elongate through the spine, hug the right knee with the left arm, find length through the spine as you 
ground down through the back hand. Gaze can be to the side or to the, le to the back of the mat. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, twist a little further into the pose. Supta Matse Andrasana. It's a wonderful way to help cleanse our internal organs. I want to make sure that we're focusing on our elongation of the spine more than trying to find leverage to twist into the posture more. Gently release out of the posture. Switching the legs now. Draw the sole of the right foot to the left buttocks. Ground the left foot on the outside of the right knee. If this is a little too much for you, you can extend the right leg out long and just bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. You'll still get the same benefits. It's just a little, a little more accessible. As we inhale, we find length through the spine. And as we exhale, hug the left knee, sweep the arm overhead, ground down through the back palm. Gaze can be to the side or the back of the mat, whichever is in your practice today. Listen to your body. Inhale, breath blossoms from the base of the spine into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine, slight pelvic contraction. Maintaining these twists in our practice on the mat can help us find that focus off the mat. It can help prevent any injuries if we're making certain twists and movements without a moment to think. Perhaps you close your eyes down in this twist. Good. Unravel from the twist. Extend the legs out long. Bring your spine to the mat as we come into Shavasana. Shavasana can be considered one of the hardest postures throughout all of the asanas. Find, finding space to remain still in both mind and body can be a challenge. So in Shavasana we create space to surrender. Draw the feet hips width apart. Allow the feet to fall to the sides of the mat. Arms can be slightly away from the body, palms facing up. Gently tuck the shoulders under the chest and draw the chin away from the chest to encourage the natural curve of the spine. Let go of any tension in the jaw Release any furrow in the brow. And if they're not already, close down the eyes. Become aware of the breath without altering it in any way. Notice its natural rhythm, the inflow and the outflow. Release any tension throughout the body. And as we bring our intention back to the beginning of our practice, let go of any pressures of the world. Go inward as you connect the mind, the body and the breath. Invite stillness.
bring your awareness back to your breath. Notice the beautiful inhale, the relaxing exhale. Begin to find some movement in the fingers and the toes. Rock the head from side to side, finding movement in the neck. When you're ready, roll to one side and observe. Push up through the free hand, come to find a comfortable seat. Eyes remain closed. Find length through the spine. Notice the posture after your practice. Notice the mind and the things you may say to yourself or the things you may have let go of. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, bring the hands to meet. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, breathing in vitality and life. Palms come to meet at heart center. in honor of all that you are. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. Thank yourself for coming to the mat. I know sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge, but once we get there and we go through our practice, we feel pretty good afterwards. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button um, maybe share it if you think someone else may benefit from it and if you haven't already hit subscribe the little bell um, so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads as always keep making magic in your world from your space at your own pace namaste